Hey guys, Mortiman here, and welcome to my Walking Dead lore videos, where we dig deep into the story to find specific things on what went down or what happened in detail. This video is going to be covering Season 1, Episode 4, Crawford, and how it fell. Let's get right into it. What is Crawford? Crawford is a district within the city of Savannah with strict rules and ruthless leadership. Crawford was established soon after the outbreak struck. A man named Crawford Alberson created a community that enforced strict rules upon its followers. No children or elderly citizens were allowed, and anybody with a medical condition to disclose it, and childbearing was also forbidden. Already it sounds like a heartless system with no children allowed, but that's not even the worst. It doesn't even come close. Anyone who would disobey the rules would be killed, then left to reanimate, then put on a walker barrier that separated Crawford from the rest of Savannah to keep both walkers and survivors away. What the, what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. How did it fall? So how did a perfect society with such strict rules fall? It all starts with Anna Korea. When the outbreak started, Anna joined the Crawford community. At some point during her time in the community, Anna became pregnant. A part of Crawford rules states no children or elderly citizens were allowed and anybody with a medical condition to disclose it, and childbearing was also forbidden. We find out she is pregnant after an examination by Dr. Logan. It was determined that she was pregnant. At first he told her that she couldn't live in Crawford while pregnant which would mean she would have to abort the baby. Moments later, on the second tape you find, she came back later and pleaded with him to help her keep the baby, but he told her that the only way she could keep her baby is if she left Crawford. Anna pleaded to the doctor once more to at least hide the pregnancy, but he refused, fearing the consequences he would face. I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Now before I continue, I'd like to first say that I thought she stabbed the doctor and just left Crawford. The doctor turned and started going around eating other people, but no, this happened instead. Out of desperation, she stabbed his stomach with a syringe, stole his gun, and fled the room as she began gunning down random people in Crawford, turning many citizens into walkers and spreading the outbreak throughout the previously untouched Crawford. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy, or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? If this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again, but for now, today, we have to do this. No. 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 Fast forwarding, Lee and his group, as well as Vernon and Bree, went to Crawford in search of medical supplies for Omid and batteries and gas for the boat. They find the community overrun with walkers and quietly head for the high school in search for supplies. That might have been the direct reason, but the indirect reason starts from the top. Crawford Auberson, which I will touch on in a second video. Thank you guys for watching this lore video. I know it was short, but. Tell me guys what you think, if I should just go through the entire story instead of breaking it up. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys check out my other Walking Dead videos. I've done Walking Dead 1 through 4 and I've done live streams and I'm doing more of those. So if you guys enjoy it, make sure you guys uh, subscribe and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.
Surveilling Clementine. I got your parents right 